Hi everyone, welcome to edXP. edXP is a learning and assessment platform for students to learn and practice and assess themselves outside of the classroom. Today I'll be covering the topic of binomial theorem, which is covered in the IBDP mathematics standard and higher level examinations. So let's jump right in. I'll be going through five questions today, three from the past papers and two from our edXP platform. So as we see over here, the first question actually came from the May 2017 time zone two, paper one, question one. So let's break down this question. Find the, in, the term independent of x, which we all should know by now is x to the power of, of zero or the constant term. In the binomial expansion of this uh, term here, which is to the power of 10. Okay, you should know by now that if you power a binomial to 10, you have a total of 11 terms. Okay, In the exam, we don't have time to expand out every term. So we use the general term. Okay, By using this formula over here, tr plus one is equal to ncr a to the n minus r and b to the r. We are able to sieve out any term that we want. Okay, so let me show you how. So we start out by writing the actual binomial out. So it's 2x squared plus 1 over 2x cubed power 10. Okay, we know we have 11 terms here. Okay, so the general term is expressed as ncr, if I use this formula over here that I just boxed up, which is also in the formula sheet, by the way. Okay, so ncr, n is 10. Okay, n is the degree of the binomial. 10 choose r, okay, we keep it general. a is 2x squared. 10 minus r to the power of, and 1 over 2x cubed power r. Okay, so this will actually get you some method marks already. So this is a total of five marks. An important step here is I, I always teach my students to keep the constants to the left and the x terms to the right. So what does this mean? So it's 10 choose r. So your exponents, your exponents have to be very good. Yeah? So 2 to the power of 10 minus r and half to the power of r. And the x terms, so I've taken all my constants to the left and now x terms to the right. So we have x to the power of 20 minus 2r, x to the power of minus 3r. Okay, if you're not sure what I did there, please revise your exponents topic. Okay, and I can simplify. So this will be 10cr, 2 to the power of 10 minus r, half to the r is 2 to the minus r, and x, we can add the powers when we multiply two x terms, so we get 20 minus 5r. Okay, let's do one more simplification step. So that'll be 2 to the power of 10 minus 2r, x to the power of 20 minus 5r. Okay, so we did this in less than two minutes. What is the next step? I'm looking at the power over here. So if you want a constant term, a term independent of x, then this term over here, Right, 20 minus 5r must equal to zero. So I get a constant term. So I want to see about the r value that gives me the constant. So r will be equal to four. Okay, so we're not done yet. We can sub r equals to four into the general term. Okay, let me use a different color. So we have tr plus one will be equal to. So we are actually interested in the fifth term yeah, when r equals to four. 10 choose four, two to the 10 minus eight, okay, x power zero, okay? So 10 choose four times four. So the answer is 840. I'll move on to the second example. So I hope you understand that question, quite a straightforward five mark question. The second question came from actually quite recently, the May 2021, so this was just last year, okay? Time zone one, paper two, question three. So let's break down this six mark question. The coefficient of x squared in the expansion of this binomial here is equal to the coefficient of x power four in another expansion. So we know we need to equate both together. Okay, so let's find these two terms first. 
I'm going to rewrite out the general formula because it's so important. Okay. When you head to the exam, you should already be very familiar with this general formula. Please do not expand out term by term. It is too long. And it's too tedious and time consuming. So I'll move on to the first expansion. We have one over x plus five x power eight. Okay, so if you were to expand this out, it will be a total of nine terms, but let's not do that. The general term for this binomial, let's follow the steps. So n is eight, okay, n is always the degree of the binomial. Eight choose r, a will be one over x to the power of eight minus r and b to the r. Same thing, let's be disciplined. We keep constants or coefficients to the left. So we have 8cr, 5 power r, x terms to the right. So there'll be x to the power of r minus 8 and x power r. Okay, simplifying, we have the constant on the left and the x terms can simplify to 2r minus 8. Okay, and we want the coefficient of x squared over here, which means that this term highlighted must equal to 2. Okay, so from here, 2r minus 8 must equal to 2. r, I believe, must equal to 5. So we're interested in the sixth term, t6. When r is 5, 8 choose 5. 5 power 5 x will of course power what we want which is 2. Okay so we have the coefficient of x squared in the first expansion. Okay let's do the second expansion. Let me use a different color. So we have a plus 5x power 7 and let's write out the general term for this. So it's tr plus 1 is equal to 7cr. Let's go a bit faster now. So a to the 7 minus r, 5x to the r. If you're not sure, you can always rewind the video to have a look again. Okay, same discipline, constants to the left. Okay, coefficients to the left, x terms to the right. And if we want the coefficient of x power 4, then r must equal to 4. Then we are interested in the fifth term, 7 choose 4, a to the power of, Three, five to the power of four, x to the power of four. Okay, and what the question is telling me is that these two coefficients have the same value, and we want to find the value of a. Okay, quite an interesting question. So let me use another different color, maybe green, and I equate the values together. So we have eight, choose five times 5 power 5, quite a large number. So this will be 1751000 will be equal to 7 choose 4 times 5 power 4. Here that will be 21875 a cube. Okay. Okay, so from here a will be a cube will be equal to 8 and a will be equal to two. Okay, so I hope you got this second example. I'll move on to the third example from the past year papers. Also in the HL examinations, this, was, this one was in November 2016, time zone zero, so November paper. Paper two, question four. Find a constant term in the expansion of this to the power of 12. Okay, again, constant term, x power zero. Okay, so recall your general term formula. I'll go straight in now. So tr plus one is equal to 12 cr a to the n minus r b to the r. Okay, take note there's a negative sign there. So a lot of students make mistakes over here, but same discipline. Let's keep the constants to the left. Okay, so 12 cr. 4 to the power of 12 minus r minus 3 over 2 to the power of r. So you must be able to split your constants or your coefficients to the left 
x terms to the right. And then we have x power negative r. Okay, let's simplify this guy over here. So this is actually x to the power of 24 minus 3r. If we want the constant term, then this guy in yellow must equal to 0. So 24 minus 3r equals to 0. r equals to 8. Okay, so now that we know that r is equal to 8, we are actually interested in the ninth term, tr plus 1. So the ninth term will be 12 choose 8, 4 to the power of 4, and minus 3 over 2 to the power of r, which is 8. Okay, and since this is a paper 2, we can proceed to use the calculator. And the final answer is quite large, 3, 2, 4, 7, 6, 9, 5. Okay, so these are the three examples from past papers. You can continue to practice on our edXP app. We have very similar questions. So this one over here is an example of one of our binomial theorem edXP questions. And we want to expand 1 plus 2x power 4 in ascending power. So make sure your final answer is ascending. Okay, and we also want to simplify our answer for the full format. Okay, so when it comes to expansion, yes, we can still use the general formula tr plus 1. Let me write this down equals to ncr a to the n minus r b to the r. Okay, so this formula is actually very powerful. It's the only one you need to know for this topic. Okay, so how do we expand? We start with n. n is always 4, okay? And the first term is always when r is 0. Okay, so it's 4 choose 0. a to the n minus r, b to the r which actually just simplifies to one, okay? But I wanna show you guys how it's being done when we expand it step by step. Okay, then we have four choose one, a to the power of n minus r, b to the r, okay? So if we have a power four, we have a total of five terms. Let's do the third one, four choose two, a to the power of n minus r, b to the r. And the fourth term, 4 choose 3, a to the power of n minus r, and 2x power 3, plus the last term, 4 choose 4, okay? 1 to the power of 0, 2x to the power of 4. Okay, so let me simplify this. The top we have, let me simplify it here since we have no space there. So we have 1, okay? The first term just simplifies to 1, plus 4 choose 1 is 4, times 2 is 8x, plus 4 choose 2 times 4, okay? 4 choose 2 times 4, that will be 24, x squared, plus 4 choose 3 times 8, so that will be 32, and 4 choose 4 is 1, and 2 to the power of 4 is 16. So that will be 16 power, 16 x power 4. And there we have it. I believe the answer is A. Okay, I hope you got that. I'll move on to the final example. Another question from our edXP database as well. Okay, so feel free to try it on our platform. Let's jump right into it. We want to find the constant term in the expansion of this guy over here, which is a binomial expansion to the power of 3. Interestingly, we have inside also a quadratic uh, expression over here. Okay, so looking at the numbers and looking to the power, it seems that it could be easier to expand the things in the inner brackets first. Okay, so let's proceed with that. So if you are to expand it out, I get x squared plus 2x plus 4, power 3. Okay, so this is quite interesting. Six marks, do I want to be using the general formula or expanding it term by term? I think it might be too complicated, but upon observation, if I see, if I place these terms side by side, does anyone notice anything? The only time that you're gonna get a constant, okay, let me, if I multiply every term, Okay, by every term 
technically the only constant I'm going to get is if I multiply the force together. Okay. So there will be an only one constant, which is 4 times 4 times 4, and that is 64. And that is the answer. So a bit of a trick there. That comes, that, that concludes the end of my video. Feel free to watch uh, some of our other videos for other topics. Thank you.